Pete, thank you so much for joining me today. Of course, my um, pleasure. Let's first uh, just start out. Um, I guess, how are you feeling? Uh, a little, little uh, foggy today. Um, had treatment yesterday, and um, it is what it is. <laughs> what does treatment look like for you right now? Because you're up here, not back uh, at the hospital down south. Well, I went to UVM Hospital um, and had a uh, infusion. Um, that was prescribed from the doctors at Duke, and um, you know they're running the show. But we've teamed up with UVM, who's been wonderful, and um, so I'm able. You know, I don't have to go down to Duke; I can do it from here, and uh, and we just attack it from here. That must be really great because I know UVM Medical oh, Center. It, yes, um, you know, Don. I, I was. We were obviously really concerned about. Okay going to be in Burlington, got to fly, and then we, we had this connection um, at UVM, and it's been wonderful so far. So you've been back for about two weeks now. Uh, how, is, how is life in the dugout? How is, how is managing changed or stayed the same uh, since last summer? Um, it's definitely changed um, in that, uh, you know, I'm not traveling right now. Um, and uh, that's obviously extremely different. And um, I gotta get to know all these kids, um, which I'm behind on, which is, uh, you know, doesn't put me in the best position to manage, but I'm catching up. And, uh, you know, I hired fantastic assistant coaches and, um, we are very lucky to have these guys, and they've done a phenomenal job. I mean, we're sitting in first place. Uh, pretty amazing. And uh, so I'm, I've told them I'm trying to stay more out of the way than, than anything else. But uh, it's been, uh, you know, I'm still getting to know these kids and what they can and can't do, which is obviously a big part of managing. I, uh... I know with, with Fincher being at the, at the head right now, I was talking to Wyatt a while back, Wyatt Cameron, he was saying one of the, his favorite parts of the summer so far is the mound meetings with Fincher because he makes him feel very comfortable. Um, so I, I'm sure having him there just makes you all that more comfortable. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a great coach and a, uh, a better man. So I know we're in really good shape. Uh, take me through the first time you addressed your team when you came back here. Uh, we were in Norwich, um, and uh, you know I, I have this discussion that I need to have with every team about our priorities and um, uh, what's important to the organization, what's important to the coaching staff. Um, obviously, rules and regulations and, and that stuff. And we had that in the locker room in Norwich. Um, I thought it went really well. It was really well received. And um, these kids have been great, man. They, they've been, I think they genuinely understand what I'm going through, what we are going through. And um, uh, have an appreciation for it, um, which is a lot to assume. You know, an 18 year old, 20 year old can grasp what this thing is. So I've been impressed. Your doctor said that you would beat cancer. You, you said that in the first day you were back here. You said you were going to beat this, and I know you don't, you don't need me to tell you how, how hard of a cancer this one is to beat. What do you think makes him so confident on your case? Well, he's got a history of, of uh, helping people survive this thing. He's the best guy in the world for what I have, and he does it with regularity. They, He's got people in this program for 32 years, for 21 years, for, I, you know, you hear these success stories that people are thriving after 21 years, 32 years in his, under his guidance. That's hard to ignore, you know? That's, uh, that's hard evidence. And, um, and the other thing, you know, I'm, I'm feeling pretty darn good. So it's not like I'm sitting in the corner sucking my thumb and, um, you know, worried about tomorrow's breakfast or something. You know, I, I'm doing okay. And I will continue to fight this thing and um, with his guidance, 
and direction, and uh, I fully believe in what we're doing. Is there something specifically that he does that you think sets him apart in, in this? I'm not smart enough to know the answer to that. That's a good question. Um, but there's a reason he's, a, he's supposed to be the world's best guy for this. Uh, I've not sat down with him and said, hey, what is it? Um, I just salute and charge up the hill when he tells me to. And I'm sure there's got to be a comfort level that he brings to you when you do meet with him. Tremendous comfort level. Um, tremendous, just his confidence is, is contagious. And, uh, you know, his history, like I said, when you hear these stories about people that have been thriving for, for decades, um, with the same thing I have is, is uh, you know, encouraging. So let's talk about this GoFundMe for a second and everything the Lake Monsters have done. Of course, they set up these Dig In For Pete bracelets that... Thank you for wearing one. They've been, they've been contributing $5 of proceeds to you, and I'm sure those have added up a, a tremendous amount. And I checked the GoFundMe yesterday. We are very close to $100,000. Well, you've checked it one more time than I have. How? I don't, uh, I don't, I haven't really focused on that. It's um, overwhelming to hear that. Um, I do hear it once in a while. It, it absolutely blows my mind that, that, uh, that we've gotten to that level of support. I'm overwhelmed by that number. It has to speak volumes on what you brought the community in, uh, and in, ter in terms of a father and a husband and also in terms of just a, a coach and a player and a, a baseball community member, right? Uh, that would be for someone else to say, I think. Um, I, I don't, I, I guess. Um, you know, I, I've been, I've been really fortunate my whole life. Um, I've been blessed with family and friends and um, and uh, this just seems to be something that has magnified that and uh, you know I, again I've been really blessed and the way especially the, the community here last Saturday or two Saturdays ago or whatever it was was unbelievable experience for me and my family I'll never forget it. Um, I had no idea. You know, I, I knew the organization. I knew we had done some special things here. Um, I'm quite proud of what we've done here. But this is an organizational thing. I never really said this is me or whatever. I've never had that approach. But to feel from the community the other night was astounding and um, it really touched me and my family I'll never forget it um, to uh, to see the to feel the, the there's no other word to say it but the, the love from the community was unbelievable to see your your daughters there and your very wife very cool very cool um, and the, I believe it was Westfield you were playing, they, they donated to you as well. They sure did. That was an unbelievably classy move by them. Um, yeah, that one, that blew me away. Um, a lot of things did that night. It's been six months about since you were diagnosed. Uh, what do you feel like continues to make you fight to want to beat this? Anytime I look at my daughters, I gotta be there for my girls. Uh, too many guys like me running around that uh, are going to be knocking on our door um, in a few years. And uh, i got to be there for my girls. Uh, how do you feel like they've handled the whole experience? Well, my wife's been a rock star. And, um, you know, we've, uh, I think we've done a really good job of staying positive with them. And uh, everybody's very positive about how we're handling, handling this thing. It starts, it really starts and ends with my wife. She's, she's the rock of the family. And um, the way that she has handled this thing has been 
awe-inspiring for me and uh, certainly convinced me I I'm, I'm made the right choice uh, when we got married, that's for sure. Um, but you know, there's, uh, there, you know, this thing is a roller coaster without question. So you ride it out when you can, you try to win days. I'm trying to go day by day, which is very unlike me. I'm a planner. Um, but if I can win a day, um, I win the day and I'm happy with it. And uh, I've been winning a lot more days than I've been losing. And, um, you know, that's what my life's turned into at this point. Um, and I've got to accept that. And uh, if I can keep winning days and be with my girls, then we win. That's well put. Uh, in sickness and in health is, is the wedding vows, and she's proving them right now. Without question, every day. Are you scared? That's a great question. Um, I wouldn't use that word. Um, I, I, somehow I've been able to compartmentalize this thing into, okay, I've got a tumor, and we're going to beat this tumor. It's less cancer to me. I don't know if that's just a, a defensive mechanism. Um, it very well might be. Um, but we, um, in my mind, I'm fighting a tumor or a couple. And it only, when I walk into the Duke Cancer Center, that, that's when I get, whoa, whoa, Jesus, I'm sick. Because there's some sick people in there. Um, I don't, I don't think about cancer. And that might sound like, I don't know what that sounds like because I'm not running away from reality. Um, but uh, when you have a doctor saying you can beat this, people like you beat this. I'll never forget that sentence. Um, I'm in. And I think I've been up for the challenge and um, uh, I'm hoping I can help others that have this issue. That's really important to me. Um, looking for opportunities to do that. I know we're going to take a, a bunch of the money that came in the other night and donate it to Duke um, because of what they're doing for me. And um, um, we'll go from there. But that's a, you know, it's a good question. I never really, I've never really sat down and, and analyze whether I've been scared or not. I, I um, probably should be. I probably should be, but it's a tough way to go through life, um, being scared, especially when you got a 12-year-old and an 8-year-old looking up at you like you are the dude, and it's time to be the dude. They rely on you for and, so much. Uh, Again, I'm, I've been blessed my whole life, and um, this is a challenge that is ahead of us, and we face it every day. It's what we do. I'm a big believer in uh, manifestation, and it sounds a lot of like this is just manifesting what is your reality, not, le not letting some reality or some cancer dictate who you are or what's going to happen. I, I couldn't agree with you more. Um, yeah, it's a, there's a mindset you've got to have. And, um, you know, again, if you, if you sit in a corner and stick your thumb in your mouth, you're going you're gonna to get beat by this thing. And uh, that's not how we're going to handle it. Um, never once has been a consideration. Never once have I said, why me? Uh, and I won't ever. Why not me? Um, this happens all the time. And um, I think I'm equipped to, uh, to push through and um, hopefully get through this thing and 
with the doctors I've been lined up with. I have a high level of confidence that I'm going to do that. And uh, keep plugging, man. It's uh, it's definitely a um, <laughs> it's been quite an experience, no question. But uh, I've uh, I've been pretty fortunate, and uh, we're going to continue to fight it. I assume your daughters and your wife are here at almost, or if not every single home game. They are, yes, they are, and they. I mean, they love it up here more than I do. Um, which I mean, this place has been extremely special to me and my family. And you know, you'll see my daughters in the middle of the game singing, take me out to the ball game, and you'll see them in some game in-game promotions and. They absolutely love this place and coming here at games and um, being involved. They love it. And I, I love seeing them involved up here. The other night at the event, um, I believe it was, uh, someone was talking about how CJ has tried to recruit you to a, a different FCBL team. Um, uh, no, Chris English. Oh, Chris English, right. When Chris he English owned, owned the Brockton Rocks. The Brockton Rocks, Rocks right. He, we used to have, when I was at Georgetown, we, we had a bunch of players go to Brockton and have really good experience. And um, so Chris called me and said, and I, li I grew up like 45 minutes from Brockton. And I guess Chris found that out. I, I don't know, but Chris called and said, hey, you want the Brockton job? I'm like, thank you. Um, not right now. And then, you know, two months later or something, he's like, what do you think about Burlington? And I had been up here, and I'm like, now that is really interesting. Because I knew it was a good spot for my family. This town, this, for the summer, oh, this could be really special. And it was, and it continues to be. And through what they've done for you, the Lake Monsters, through I'm this whole process. Unbelievable. It has to, you have to go back to that when you made the decision to come here oh. and just thank yourself that you said yes. I don't thank myself. I thank, um, I thank Chris, I thank CJ. This organization has been phenomenal um, to me and my family from day one. And um, yeah, we, we are extremely fortunate to be involved in this organization. This. This place is special. These people are special. Um, and I feel it every day from them, um, especially since I've been sick. They've been, I mean, just they've been unbelievably supportive. Um, can't say enough about them as people. And, and the whole organization umbrella has just been phenomenal. Uh, I've heard people have said that having cancer gives you a whole new perspective on life. Oh, how can it not? Yeah, hell yeah. You know, I go back to, you know, do I, I don't harp on that word, but yeah, you got, you got the big C, man. And um, time is no longer unlimited. And um, hell yeah, it's, it's a, <laughs> yeah, it'll it'll uh, it'll shift your perspective, no question. And, but you know, at times that's a really good thing. At times, that is a really good thing to have somebody kind of kick you in the gears and uh, adjust the vantage point. Um, I think that can be a really good thing, and I think it has been a really good thing for me. Um, You know, I'd, it, obviously I'd rather not have that, but it is what it is and we're gonna attack it. If you don't end up winning this battle, what do you want the Lake Monster community, your family, anyone who supported you to know about you? How much I loved it here. Um, how important it was to me and my family to be part of this community each summer. Um, I 
that's about as much thought as I want to put into that angle. Fair enough. Because um, I don't buy into that angle. I'm going to beat this thing. Are there any fun things that you and your family have done uh, to kind of, I guess, further get your mind off of it? Any like trips or uh, besides this, uh, or uh, just, just fun things to kind of have fun as a family? You know, we, we haven't had a chance to with all these treatments and everything dictating timing and location um, for the last five months, six months, whatever it's been. So we haven't had a chance to, uh, to get away. I mean, they did, you know, my, my girls went down to Myrtle Beach, which is something we had planned before, but I wasn't able to join them. Um, so we rented a house in Myrtle with a bunch of friends. And so they had that experience, which was great. Um, but I wasn't able to join that. Um, and, um, so I should, you know, I need to qualify the answer. So yeah, they have, I haven't. <laughs> uh, we're, you know, we're talking about doing some things after the season and after the playoffs and that kind of stuff, which is, which are becoming goals. Um, and I'm sure we will. Um, but right now we, we're focused on the season. We're focused on the treatments, probably vice versa. Those treatments are running my life right now, and uh, they have to. And I just got to keep winning days. In terms of treatments, is there a timeline on how long they're going for? I've never asked that question. I've just heard, you know, these stories I've alluded to about 32 years and 21 years and. You know, if somebody tells me I got 21 years left with my girls, I just, I would, fantastic, where do I sign up, you know? Um, and how do I get there? And uh, what price do I have to pay? And that's what I'm doing. Um, it's what you got, I, I don't have a choice. Um, but if somebody tells me I can add 20 years, and be there for, for my girls to hit their 30s, and where do I sign? You've uh, won a championship in front of this fan base. You've lost a championship <laughs> in front of this fan base. Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> but this year, you have what seems like another chance, if you guys keep winning yep. games, to win another championship yes, here. Yes, sir. Um, how excited are you for that moment to be back in that situation? Uh, it's It's been great, um, especially with this group of kids. This is a this is a special team, um, as were the others, obviously. But these guys are, uh, I don't know, there seems to be something a little bit different about this group that uh, I would like for them to experience what we've gone through in 21 and 22. Um, I think they've merited it uh, so far. and. Um, I would love for them to have this that experience because it was so it's been so special um, both those years and uh, this this group of kids would be great to to go through it with as well well I, I hope you get there um, Thank I want, you, man. I wanted to ask you uh, quickly um, there are five guys who've been on this team for your duration uh, yep. Silas Wyatt Colby um, Tyler. Tyler and who are you forgetting? Oh, Fergie. Uh, yeah, Fergie. Yeah. Uh, having them here uh, with you still, I'm sure that you've developed such a family with them. Having them here, how has that how has that been for you? Well, it's they're uh, they're very special to me. Each one of them, um, very special kids to me, and uh, I really enjoy having them around and and they you know they help set the tone because they recognize how special this is especially you know Wyatt and Colby being Vermont kids and um, that is a difficult thing to um, promote uh, without being genuine. So when you see a 
kid like Colby or Wyatt or whatever play at Centennial and you, you see them in the locker room, um, it's infectious to those kids from UVA and Wake Forest who are, you know, they just get up here and, oh, okay, there's the lake and there's the mountains and what have you. But the Vermont kids who, who actually sat up there, you know, as kids and, and uh, who are now playing, I mean, there there's, there's something very special about um, that experience for them, obviously. And I've encouraged them over the years to make sure they share that. Um, and they have, they've been great. Um, so yeah, that group of kids, um, you know, I, I sent that group a text when I got sick. And because uh, I wanted them to know from me instead of, you know, hearing about it. And uh, that was a tough text. What was the response like? Um, you know, they were obviously uh, affected by it and um, concerned, obviously, and, you know, what can we do, et cetera, et cetera. They, they were great. They, they were awesome. Special group for me. I'm sure they were, they were looking forward to the day you came back to Centennial as well. I'd like to think we all were, and uh, thrilled to be here again, ready to go to work again. I wanted to ask uh, as well, um, on Pete Wilk night, I'm pretty sure they announced you signed a five-year contract. Was that? Uh, Chris has offered a 10-year. 10-year contract. I have yet to see it. <laughs> OK. I'll sign that sucker tomorrow. I would, I would sign up for a long time to, to, to be part of this. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know how serious Chris was. I know he did say it a couple of times. Um, I have no other. Um, I want to be here. I love this place and I love this job. Um, I have zero other uh, desires to get, get back into college or I had a couple of phone calls. I, I, I don't want to go in that world anymore. This is where I want to be. This is exactly where I want to be when I want to be here. I also think it's best for my family. And um, so here we are. And uh, let's just press play again and let's try to do it again. Well, here's to a championship this year, a, another great successful season this year, and then eight more years, nine more years after that. I would love that. Thanks. I would love that. Thank you, man. Thank you so much, Pete. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Thank you.